Hey guys, what's up Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. So this JDM Toyota Sierra that you can see right behind me has three very large rust patches and in order to get it road legal I have to fix this and I have need to do this as soon as possible. So the way I'm going to do this is with body filler. Now my friend Dylan is going to come over real soon. It's me, Luigi. He's a professional body worker and he's going to show us step by step on how to do this. So before we start, I want to preface this by saying that using body filler to fix up dents and, and rust patches is a bad idea. It's not good. For example, if you look here, this had been filled up with body filler earlier and water came underneath it and therefore it expanded and it broke off, which is a shame. So if you want to have your car done properly, don't use body filler. Try to at least grind the whole part out, weld in a new piece and use as little body filler as possible. But that being said, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Well, first up, I need to get this car on the road as soon as possible. And this is the fastest method. And secondly, I own a YouTube channel where I do how-to videos. So I figured, you know, hey, two birds and one stone. Right, so Dylan, what are we going to do? Well, um, first we of all, we're gonna remove some paint. Um, see how far uh, the rust is forward and rust it off. And then we can see where to grind the pieces out and replace it. Dylan has now masked the parts off that he wants to cut out of the fender and then once he's done measuring everything he's going to cut the pieces out of metal and then we are going to glue them behind the fender. Dylan is now marking off the old pieces. He's going to cut across the line so he has a little bit of extra metal and those pieces we can put behind the cutout part. Look who showed up. Hey. So. <laughs> right, so Dylan uh, made some new pieces of metal out of uh, an old fender. And we are going to bond it to the panel with some uh, very nice panel bonding adhesive, which you yeah. really can't see, who cares? But um, yeah, in order to do so, we need to make sure that the whole panels are bare metal. So we need to grind off all the paint behind it, which turns out to be really hard. So the idea is that Dylan is going to put some adhesive on both the chassis, or at least the fender, and the panel he's going to glue to it, and then he's going to bond everything together, and then uh, we have to wait for at least a day. So far, for the easy part, we've let it dry for a couple of days and uh, that sounds pretty good to me. Now for the hard part, we're going to fill up everything here with body filler. And with we, I obviously mean just Dylan because uh, I suck at that job. As you can see right here, you can see that there's way too much adhesive on the panel. So Dylan is going to use an angle grinder with a flap disc to grind everything off. Wow. Right now Dylan is roughening up the surface with the 80 grit. This will make sure that the body filler will attach better. And if you were to... Nice job. <laughs> But if you were to paint it and not put some decals over it, then it will also help prevent you to see the difference between the pieces that have been filled up with filler and the pieces that haven't been filled up. You can sand this all by hand as well, but if you do it like that, you will see marks of your fingers when sanding everything, and you will definitely see that once it's painted. 
So it's better to use a sanding block because that will even out the surface. Dylan is now mixing up some body filler. Now he's going to use some hardener, the pink stuff you see right here, to harden the filler later on. And the way you have to mix this, well there isn't really a general consensus, but the more you use, the faster it will harden. And the general rule of thumb is five parts of body filler to one part of hardener. Yes. Also you have to mix it in a scraping manner like you see right here because otherwise you're going to get bubbles in your filler and if you're going to let it dry in the cabin, which we obviously aren't, then you're going to get holes and you don't want to get holes in your filler later on because that will just be more work later on. Real quick. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. All the now, you might be tempted to fill everything up in one go, but that's not the best part of action. It's better to have several thinner layers. So what you can do best is just add one relatively thin layer, let it dry, sand it down, and then start with the next layer. Another important step in between each layer of body filler is that you have to clean up your knife. Otherwise it will dry up on your knife and you can't really fill everything properly. So uh, cleaning it up with some thinner every time you're done as soon as possible. So the first layer of filler has dried and now Dylan is using some 80 grit and he's going to stand everything up and then we're going to go for a second layer. Now to be honest I'm personally more of a fan of some short clips edited together to make a how-to video as short as possible but I figured that in the case of filling up the car, it's better to just look at Dylan and see what he's doing because basically if you want to fill up your car and you want to fill up dents and holes and whatnot, uh, you're gonna need some experience. And the best way to get some experience without doing it yourself is just to see how someone is doing it. And yeah, like Dylan said, there isn't really a general consensus on what the best way is to fill it up other than using several thinner layers. But looking at Dylan and how he's doing this right now might give you more of an advantage when you start doing this yourself for the first time. I know what you had. So by now I think you get the idea. We just have to fill it up, let it dry, send it down, and then we rinse and repeat. And it just goes on. We're done now I've said this before but I think it got cut but I'm going to get two new fenders and I'm going to get some new parts in the rear anyways uh, I'm going to repaint the car in about two years but for now this is good enough now I'm going to use some primer to well seal off all the blank space that you see right here and then I'm just going to stick her over it so for me this is good enough but I can imagine that you want to prep your car completely for paint so we are going to do a follow-up video on that as well but you're gonna have to wait a little bit because we're going to do that with uh, Dylan's DC2 Integra which I know that some of you guys really want a video up as well but uh, yeah we're going to do this completely we're going to do all the details all the way until the car is basically ready for paint so if you're interested in that definitely check that out later on um, yeah that's it for today I hope you guys liked it leave a like if you did and hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one bye and it just goes on